Hey everyone. Um, so I got some, I, I posted this quote, uh, yesterday, no, actually a couple of days ago and uh, I got some really interesting responses and, um, 140 characters is just too short to reply to this. So, um, I decided to do a quick video reply. Also, I'm trying out this new, this new screencasting tool. Um, so yeah, so the quote was the object oriented version of spaghetti code is of course, lasagna code. Uh, because you're ending up with too many layers and layers of abstraction, that is. And so, yeah, I got some really cool uh, responses here from from Avi, or I, I hope I pronounced your name correctly, Avi. Uh, he was saying, or if you're in the microservices world, ravioli code, everything in its own pocket. And I just thought that was hilarious. Uh, that That's a great quote. I'm, I'm going to make that another quote on uh, that, that I'm going to post and then... Uh, assigned you as as the author mention you as the author as the author and we're going to see what happens um yeah now i want spaghetti i hope you're proud of yourself yes tremaine um, that's uh, i had spaghetti the last uh, two days and i wonder if it has anything to do with that tweet so definitely had the same effect on me uh, all right and so tobias writes uh how to avoid this is something wrong with the single responsibility principle and uh, I think that's a pretty good question, right? Because, um, well, the way I would interpret this is that the um, uh, too much of a good thing is a bad thing, or, you know, it, it all depends on a, the dose. And I think it's with, it is like that with any of these tools, right? Like a tool or um, a principle, like the single responsibility principle, it can be a really good thing for structuring your code and, and writing better or more maintainable, more readable code, but you can also take it to an extreme and then you end up with something horrible, right? And whether that's called like lasagna code or, or whatever, um, you know, a giant like ball of twine code, um, you could totally take the single responsibility principle to an extreme, I think, where you basically, you know, you end up in this, um, your program is going to look like all of these joke examples for overly complicated java programs right where you have like abstract factory factories and all of these crazy design patterns applied in a way that just takes them you know into absurd territory and just absolutely makes them makes the resulting code ridiculous and so i think like my interpretation here is that the quote is exactly about that i mean first of all like i think it's a bit of a joke but uh it it goes to show that you know too much of a good thing is a bad thing. So if we if we go and just take you know object orientation or the single responsi a single responsibility principle as like the only hammer we have, and we try to apply it like to any nail we can find, then I think we're going to end up with something horrible like lasagna code. And um, the way to avoid this is I think to know about many of these tools and to build up this kind of experience or feeling for when to apply a certain tool, right? In what situation um, you wanna apply one, one of your many tools in your toolbox. So I think that will be, a, that will be my strategy to avoid uh, over applying one of these principles or one of these, um, these methodologies. And you know, it's the same with everything. It's the same with like agile, you know, we probably all heard or worked at places where that was just taking that was being taken to you know too far you can be too agile and you can kind of you know you can spend all you know hours every week in retros and all of these like meta things that don't actually help get the work uh, help get the work done and so it's the same thing with these these design patterns and stuff so Okay, so a bit of a rambly answer there, but I hope this helps you out. And um, I'm just going to post that to Twitter now, see what happens.